Hi, my name is Brianna Spores, and I'm a longtime member of Cargill United Methodist Church, and I'm a nurse. <laughs> my name is Chris Borgerding. I'm also a longtime member of Cargill, and I'm an occupational therapist. We're here to introduce an exciting new ministry at Cargill called Looking Up. This program is based on the concept of parish nursing, and it is a health and wellness ministry. Health is a broad topic. It occurs when the physical, psychological, social, and spiritual aspects of our life are in harmony with self, others, the environment, and God. Our intention is to start small with monthly blood pressure checks after Sunday services and monthly education programs teaching about topics related to health and prevention of illness or injury. We plan to grow the program according to the needs of our congregation. There is one thing that this program will not include, and that is treatment or specific care. We will not substitute for your medical providers, but we can help make your medical care more understandable, effective, and comfortable as you go through it. About 20 years ago, I was at an occupational therapy conference and I attended a class on the concept of parish nursing. I remember being very interested in it and realizing that the concept could apply to occupational therapists too. I saved the information and I tucked the idea away that maybe the time would be right to do something like this. About the same time frame, I learned about parish nursing and thought it might be a good fit for me as well. Just this last year, I had the opportunity to take a course and learn some of the specifics of parish nursing and the many benefits of serving a church community. I brought the concept to Pastor Steve, who was very supportive of the idea. I presented the idea at a meeting last summer that Chris just happened to attend as well, and we spoke after the meeting and both felt led by God that the time might be now. The name of our ministry, Looking Up, comes from a God experience that I had in February. I was on a beach with a friend on a stormy day. We had seen some significant clouds over the ocean and had just turned around to head back towards shelter. Now when I walk the beach, I walk with my head down. I love the beach and all of the treasures that you can find there from shells to creatures to textures of the sand. So I was walking along with my friend, I was looking down and all of a sudden she gasped and said, look up. I looked up and I saw the most incredible full rainbow across the sky. I realized that if she had not directed me to look up, I would have missed that incredible sight. God often communicates with me on the beach. And this time I realized he was sending me a metaphor. The rainbow is the symbol of God's promises, first to Noah after the flood, but through the Bible that promise extends to each of us. In Genesis 9:13, it says, I have set my rainbow in the clouds, and it will be the sign of the covenant between me and the earth. How often do we miss seeing the promises of God because we have our heads down? We might be worried, distracted, or looking for treasures, but unless someone points us in the right direction, we too may miss the rainbow. This program is intended to point people to God's promises. Not that bad things will never happen to us, but that he'll be with us, and that he intends good things for us. In order for us to clarify the services that Cargill will most benefit from, we have created a survey and are asking that each one of you complete it in order for us to be able to discern your needs and make this program something that will benefit you and your loved ones. We will make the survey available in paper form in the church and in digital form on the church's new website. We will also email the survey to those of you that have an email on file with the church. Please help us get started by completing our survey. Let us know how we can serve you and those you love. We are only two people. If you are someone with knowledge that can help us meet the needs of this congregation and our community, please let us know that too in the comments section of the survey. However you can help will be appreciated, whether you could present an educational topic, be a resource for our team, or hold us in prayer. On the survey, we will ask for your name and contact information for a couple of reasons. First, if we are able to offer an educational topic that you want to see, we will contact you to be sure that you are aware and can get it on your calendar. Second, we want to hear from as many people as possible and may need to follow up with those who do not respond. Third, we want to utilize your skills. So if you want to be a part of this ministry, we need to know how to get in touch with you. Thank you so much for listening to us. It is our prayer that we are able to serve this community well through this ministry. Please pray for us, complete the survey, and look for specifics about looking up in the newsletter, on the website, and in your church pew. Thank you.